Good morning! We are at a new place. So yesterday we left Singapore and flew all the way over to Taipei and we're gonna be here for a month actually. I am so excited to be here. I missed Taiwan so much. I was here last year this time but for whatever reason last year I was here it was pouring rain every day and guess what? This time I'm checking the weather and it's literally like sunny, 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 sunny. I don't even see no clouds in sight for the next week or so. And you have no idea how crazy that is to me because basically every time I've come to Taiwan in the past, it's like storming every single day. Like I basically wake up, I don't even like expect to see the sun. But today is a beautiful day. Tomorrow is a beautiful day. The next day is a beautiful day, so we're about to have a pretty good trip in Taiwan. I am ready to gain a couple pounds and see some night markets, go see the ocean, watch some sunsets. It's going to be a good time, so I'm going to take you guys along for the whole thing. I'm not going to give you a room tour just yet because... Basically, we just got here last night and then I wanted to upgrade the room because literally the hotel that we're at, I wanted it because I wanted a mountain view. But it turns out you have to book for a mountain view online, which I didn't do. So I asked them if we could switch over to another room and we're switching over to a new room tonight. So I'll show you the mountain view room tonight when we switch over to it. I'll probably show you in the morning so that you can actually see the view because... It'll be dark at night, obviously. We're off to go to a cutie little Zaotan Dian nearby, which is my favorite part of like eating in Taiwan is not actually the night market foods, which those are really good too. But for some reason, I love the cute little like breakfast in Taiwan, especially the breakfast sandwiches that they have. Like it's just so cute and wholesome to me. It's so tasty. Um, I've really become a morning like breakfast person in the last week or so after staying in Singapore and like basically the only time we had a huge meal was in the morning so I would eat so much for breakfast every day and then like for events and stuff we always ran out of time to have like a proper dinner um so I've become a huge breakfast person which is amazing because now I'm in the country that serves my favorite breakfast um anyways enough babbling on let's head out This is a no from the last time I came to Taiwan but I'm not sure I don't think I had the chance to actually eat at one of their stores yet um, so I'm really excited that there was one nearby our hotel and we got soy milk I think that's like one of their main things that they make soy milk so I got mine with a little bit of sweetener the food came oh my god it's exactly what I was hoping it to be because I love Taitao Mantel which is black sugar um, buns and then this one is like a black sugar bun with some egg inside. I've never had egg inside one of these, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, ignore me looking super crusty, but we've moved into the new room earlier than expected. They said that it was going to be at 6 p.m., but then they were ready at like 2 p.m. Let me show you guys what our room looks like. Quick room tour. Let's go. Here's how it looks when you walk into the room. You can already see there's that greenery in the back, which is what I wanted. On the left side here is the front foyer mirror. And then over here we have the washroom, so shower to the right. And then bathtub to the left. That's what that looks like. And then it does have this open glass into the bedroom. So let's head over. Here we have a closet. There is one over here. So there's kind of like a his and hers closet situation. And then here we have the little mini bar area. 
it does come with like some tea and I think it comes with like some chips too. Yeah, <laughs> some lace chips. This one is seaweed, I really like that one. And then here we have the main bedroom area. This might be a placebo, but I do think that this ceiling is a little bit higher than the last one. And as you walk in, here is how that looks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the view. Here's what that looks like. And then to the left here, you can see a little bit more of the city. Cause baby love So today is day two in Taiwan. I woke up at about 7 p.m. today and went to the gym. And the gym here is so beautiful. You guys probably saw the footage from it, but it's got like the whole mountain view in the back and it's super green and it was like completely empty, which I was so happy about. Um, but yeah, now I got ready. I'm walking to the train station and I'm gonna head into the city to meet up with my mom and my grandmother and we're gonna have some lunch together that's the plan for today so let's head out Is that the pearls are all really really small? I don't know if you can see. They're like that tiny, so kind of interesting. And the flavor of this milk tea is so good. I feel like this is probably the best milk tea in Taiwan for me, which also means it's the best milk tea in the world. It's an awful house. I want it to get you. Mom has been a loyal lover. Oh, she's showing her bubble tea. She's been a loyal lover of pork feet for her whole life. So she ordered this massive plate of pork feet. It looks pretty good. And pumpkin soup. Oh, okay. this is her pumpkin soup. She highly approves. seven suitcases now in the back because I just got a gifting from Manos which I'm very happy about. We're actually on our way to Hualien which is another city here in Taiwan. It's kind of like a beachside area. The weather is not in our favor today but that's fine because we're basically just going to drive there and by the time we get there it's going to be dark. Five kinds of non butter chicken, which is my favorite. I know it's kind of basic, but I just can't get enough. And then we got this spinach cheese curry.
Good morning. It's a beautiful sunny day out here in Hualien. I'm so happy to see the sun glistening over the ocean. I literally feel like I'm in Hawaii right now. Like the mountains and the trees and the ocean this reminds me so much of Hawaii. So I've already gotten ready as you can see. I'm just about to start taking my vitamins and before I do that I wanted to introduce you guys to the sponsor of this portion of today's video which is iHerb. If you guys don't know iHerb is an online shop. They offer a huge variety of items from beauty, sports nutrition, supplements to baby stuff. Everything on their website comes at the best possible value and it's a curated selection of products. Everything on their website is stored and shipped from them so there are no third-party sellers. But like I said, they do offer a huge range of products, over 40,000 to be exact, and all of these products are coming from climate-controlled distribution centers to ensure the quality. I'm extra excited to be working with iHerb today because one of my family members suffers with some gut issues and their doctor actually recommended a very specific kind of probiotic probiotic to help with that. We could not find this probiotic anywhere in stores in our local area and the only place we could find it was on iHerb.com. This was actually like a couple years ago so we have actually been shopping on iHerb for quite a while now. So if you or somebody you know is looking for a specific kind of supplement and you're having a hard time finding it, I highly recommend checking out iHerb.com. iHerb does offer customer service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and if you're from the United States then you do get free shipping on orders over $25. Additionally, iHerb brands are verified by third-party labs to confirm quality. So you know that the stuff you're getting is coming from a reliable source and is safe to use. They also offer a 90-day money-back guarantee on all products sold from the iHerb brands. And all iHerb brands meet strict good manufacturing practices. With that being said, let me show you guys some of the stuff that I have with me today. So you guys probably know I'm in a hotel room right now and I am actually traveling. I've been traveling around Asia for about a month now. And of course, when you're traveling, it's kind of hard to control your diet and to make sure you're getting all the nutrients you want. Because of that, I do want to make sure I'm still taking care of my body and giving it everything it needs, which is why I do make sure I have some multivitamins with me. The one I've been using on my trip, I got from iHerb and this is the Life Extension 2 per day multivitamin. This one is a high potency multivitamin and mineral supplement. It is gluten free, soy free, and it contains so many important supplements that your body needs such as vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin Bs. It also has other important minerals and antioxidants and extracts and it even contains lutein which is good for eye health. So overall taking one to two of these per day just helps me feel like I'm really taking care of my health and well-being and while taking this I do feel a little bit better for not really taking care of my diet or making sure I'm eating super healthy all the time. Next thing I wanted to show you guys is a probiotic. So a lot of you probably know this but probiotics are super important for maintaining your immune system as well as your gut health. I've been traveling with and loving this one. This one is the California Gold Nutrition Lactobib 30 Probiotics. They do come in capsules and these contain one of the best known probiotics. They have antibacterial and antiviral function, which really helps to support the immune system as well as preventing illness. And for me, you know, I'm traveling and I'm exposing my body to a lot of bacteria as well as foods in general that it's just not used to being exposed to. So it's really nice to have that extra layer of protection in keeping my health in check. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys that I got from iHerb is this hair mask right here. This one is the Earth Science Olive and Avocado Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is meant to repair and strengthen damaged, processed, colored hair. I can deal with a hotel body wash and a hotel shampoo for a period of time, but I have to have a good hair deep conditioner. This one specifically smells so nice. First of all, it leaves my hair smelling delicious. It's also gluten-free and sulfate-free and it's vegan, cruelty-free. After using this, my hair feels so soft and smooth and silky and untangled and it's actually been growing pretty fast. Have you guys noticed my hair is getting so long? Which makes me so happy because I have been trying to grow it for literally years. So yeah, if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will have them linked down below in the description bar along with all the products that I talked about in this portion of the video. Thank you to iHerb for sponsoring and let's get on with the rest of the vlog. You guys, the water here is so unbelievably blue. Like I am speechless at how beautiful the Hualien area is. 
Okay guys, so let me give you a quick little rundown on the situation. So we're at a place and it's called Taroko or Taroko Gorge. And basically it's like this river that runs super low and you have these mountains surrounding it and they go so high up. And I think maybe like 200 million years ago or something, it was like a little river all the way up there. And then over time, the river kept washing and washing the sediment down. Now it has ended up all the way down here. And yeah, that's why you have this super low running river with all these high mountains around it. Beautiful. beef noodles we just came home and chilled for a bit i really had to charge my phone so yeah i edited the tiktok that i filmed this morning and i charged my phone and we kind of just got a little bit of rest and then now we're gonna head out and check out their night market which is very popular it literally has like 70 000, like seven zero thousand reviews on google or something like that okay let's go gorgeous people today is a new day i've got my sunnies on and my outfit on i got my hair did i decided to go for this like crisscross split hair pigtail look today and we are actually headed for a beach day because basically um i think today and tomorrow are their last super warm days in taiwan it's like 27 degrees outside so yeah we're gonna go and have a beach beach day today we're not really gonna be like on the sand or in the ocean but we're kind of gonna go to a restaurant nearby i was on xiaohongshu the other day and i saw these girls posting at this restaurant it's called like ocean kitchen and cafe i think it's about an hour and a half away from the city i want to say and it just looks so cute the vibes are everything the patio just looks onto the ocean it looks so quaint and beautiful and gorgeous and i just feel like today is the perfect day to go and enjoy that <gasps> black tea and it's sweetened with sugar tea which is what makes it a little more special tastes pretty good Bye. I'm